hello guys in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to give roles to a user um, like uh, give roles you know you type the username and give roles but first let's go in my um, first I'd appreciate if you guys go to my github github.com slash so if we go here you hit the follow button and if you like the repo start a repo for me okay all the code will be posted in commands as you can see, all, all for the rest of my videos, all of them are posted in here. Um, this one's going to be posted in the moderation. So, yeah. All right. So, let's get started. All right. So, I'm just going to make this full screen for now. So, first, we're going to bring in message embed. So, constant message embed equals require um, discord.js. Okay. So, now let's get started. So now, if you're if you're watching the video, this is where you get started. So right here, so first, before anything, we're gonna say message.delete, so we can delete the user the user's uh, message that was sent. So this would delete the user's message, okay? And then now we're gonna run it if statements. So I already um you know hit the code. So we're gonna say so we're gonna run an if statement here. We're gonna say if uh, message dot member dot has permission and then right here since we're doing a rose we're going to say manage rose and then we're just going to return what do we want to return let's say uh, oops return message dot channel dot send you do not have uh, manage manage underscore roles permission okay all right and then we can do we can delete the message so we're gonna say dot so we're gonna make a den so that then I'm gonna say M oops M arrow function M equals an M dot delete then we're gonna put, then we're gonna set a timeout so right here I'm just gonna say after five This is in milliseconds, so 5,000 millisecond goes five seconds. Okay, and then we're just gonna run a try catch here. So first we're gonna run a try. So just, I'm just gonna put the catch right here. Okay, and then now this is where we get started with the um, the script basically. So right here we're gonna say const member equals message dot mentions. 
spell. Message that mentions that me uh, the member. Dot first. So this is going to get the first member if you mention the user. So if you say they're at, then that's going to, um, then that's who it's going to target. Then we're going to say or uh, message dot guild dot members dot cash dot get. So this is where we get the ID. So we're going to set this to R0. So this is the first. Uh, so we go to Discord. And right here, if you put an ID right here, ID right here, then, well, the ID, the ID of the user, then that's going to get that. Or if you mention the user like this, it's going to get that. Okay. All right. And then that's basically it. So now we're going to set up. We're going to make another constant. So we're going to call it row name. So row name equals message dot guild dot rows dot cash dot find. Okay. And then now this is where we get started. All right. So we're going to set R equals to, I mean, not R, arrow. And then we're going to, so we're going to split this up to make this cleaner. Um, I really don't know the best word for it, but we're just going to, so we're going to put up this parentheses. Okay, then we're going to say R dot name. So we get we get R from here, R dot name, and then we're going to set it equals to so triple equals, args, one, args one dot two string, dot two string. Okay, then after this, after this right here. So I'm just make a big space for you guys, so you guys see how it's uh, right here, the parentheses right here, or yeah, we're going to put it double pipes. That's what it's called pipes meaning or okay now i'm just going to delete all the, oops now we're just going to delete all the space so or and then we're going to make another curly brace then we're going to say r dot id equals to args one dot two string okay and then then we're going to put some regex here okay the reason why we put in regex is because let's say if you mentioned it um if you mention the um, channel ID, I mean, if you mention the channel, like if you mention, um, if I mention at admin, if you can see, if I mention that, and if I log that, that returns, um, it returns it like this, and boom, and then the IDs. Okay, so we don't want, we don't want the, the less than and greater than symbol, and we don't want the ampersand. Okay. So we're gonna put regex here. So we're gonna say after the dot two strings, we're gonna say dot replace. Dot replace. Okay. And we're gonna put the forward slash. Forward slash. And then we're gonna put this. Um, I don't want to explain. Yeah. I just follow what I'm doing right here. Backslash. W backslash S. And then we're gonna make another forward slash. Then we're gonna say G, which means global. Then we're gonna say I. And then we're just going to replace it with an empty string, okay? So as you guys can see, that's that's it. It might look a little messy, but this is like clean, in my opinion. All right. Then now we can do a bunch of things. So since I already made this, I'm just gonna I'm I'm gonna get I'm gonna get with the code already, so this video doesn't be too long. So we're gonna say already has role equals to we're gonna make a constant already has role, so the user already has role. So I already logged this, so member the underscore roles dot includes, and then this is where we put role name dot id. Okay. So the reason why we get this is because role name, if we get their r name, the r i, it's gonna return an id. So role name returns an id no matter what. The id of the role name. Okay. I mean the id of the role. So we get that, and if we console log member, if we console log member dot rows, it returns an array of all the uh, rows they have. So we're gonna set includes to row name dot id. Okay. So if the user has this in the array, we're gonna return something. Okay. So we're gonna say if already. So that means if this is true, if they already have that row and it's true. We're just gonna return um, message dot channel dot send a user already already um, 
have that rule, okay? Then we're gonna make a dot then. Okay, then Alright, then we're gonna say end dot delete. So we're gonna delete the message. Then we're gonna set a timeout. So this deletes the Five thousand again, okay. And then we can uh, make another then an arrow function. If not, we can say console dot log e. So what this is doing right here, this is if there's an error, right? It's gonna catch an error. It's gonna send a message. It's gonna send this message right here. It's gonna return this message, okay. And then it's gonna send. Then it's gonna delete it after five seconds, and then. After it's deleted, it, it's gonna console log the error, okay? I mean, we could return this. Doesn't really change anything. Okay. All right, so now this is the code. Let's go into Discord. Okay. So let's test this multiple ways, okay? So MG, wait, what is the um, command? 
what is the command? Oh, give wrong. So we're gonna uh, give wrong. So m m give roll. Um, let me see what. Uh, I'm, gonna delete, I'm gonna copy this ID and I'm gonna delete it. Okay. So we're gonna give soap the I this this roll right here. And then as you can see right there, it deleted the message and it said it gave him the roll. Okay. So now, now if we try to do that again, if we try to paste that again. It's gonna give us the error. User already has that role, and then it's gonna delete the message. Okay, and then okay. Let now let's delete this. Okay, delete this one, and then now let's do m give. Uh, what is it? Give role at test, and then at d this one. So we're gonna give them the role, and then we're gonna mention it. Boom. That's basically it. It's sent once. So as you can see, the time is in my local time. It is showing that it's sent twice because um, because it deletes the message, okay? So it doesn't really send twice. It deletes the first message that the user sends, okay? So then now let's do M. Um, let's do the give all. Let's get the ID of this user. So this, boom. And then we're going to... Um, give at ds boom gave him it as you can see that's it you can do it with so you can you're able to mention the role get the ID of the role and um, what else can do mention the role get the ID of the role oh and you can also do this too sorry I forgot this so you can do the name that's why I forgot so let's um right here. We can just copy this. Oops. So if we copy this, it's gonna say the user already has the role, okay? So now let's remove it. And then now let's give him it. And then boom, it gave him it. So yeah, that's basically you can do the name, mention it, and the ID. And you can do the same with the user. You can mention it or get the user's ID, okay? So that's basically the command, a pretty, uh, pretty good, um, pretty good uh, given rows command. I would say pretty advanced, not kind of. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want. And I appreciate it. Have a good one.